Mass is offered for the soul of Rennie Ferris. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Turn to the Lord and His strength. Constantly seek His peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary and the Virgin, all the angels and saints, you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Increase our faith, hope, and charity, make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God and Christ has forgiven you. Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children, and live in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. But fornication and impurity of any kind or greed must not even be mentioned among you, as is proper among saints. Entirely out of place is obscene, silly, and vulgar talk, but instead let there be thanksgiving. Be sure of this, that no fornicator, or impure person, or one who is greedy, that is, an adulterator, any inheritance in the kingdom of God, has any inheritance in the kingdom of God, of Christ and of God, that no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these things the wrath of God comes on those who are disobedient. Therefore do not be associated with them, for once you were darkness, but now in the Lord you are light. Live as children of light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be Behave like God as beloved children. Behave like God as beloved children. Happy are those who do not follow the advice of the wicked, or take a path that sinners tread, or sit in the seat of scoffers. But their delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law they meditate day and night. Behave like God as beloved children. They are like trees planted by streams of water, which yield their fruit in its season, and their leaves do not wither, and all that they do they prosper. The wicked are not so, but are like chafe that the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Reading from 
from the Holy Gospel according to the Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath, and just then there appeared a woman with a spirit that had crippled her for 18 years. She was bent over and was quite unable to stand up straight. When Jesus saw her, he called her over and said, Woman, you are set free from your ailment. When he laid his hands on her, immediately she stood up straight, began praising God. But the leader of the synagogue, indignant because Jesus had cured on the Sabbath, kept saying to the crowd, There are six days on which work ought to be done. Come on those days and be cured, and not on the Sabbath day. But the Lord answered him and said, You hypocrites, does not each of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his donkey from the manger, lead it away to give it water? Ought not this woman, a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan bound for eighteen long years, be set free from this bondage on the Sabbath day? When Jesus said this, all of his opponents were put to shame. The entire crowd was rejoicing at all the wonderful things that he was doing. The Gospel of the Lord. We tend to idealize the early church. We recognize the great fervor in the early church, the first Christian centuries, how they were so attuned to the parousia, to the coming of the Lord, how they were so zealous, accepting martyrdom. But we hear today in this famous section of Ephesians how much the ancient world affected the Christians. St. Paul would not have had to write this passage about living as light, as sons and daughters of light or children of light, uh, were it not for the prevailing uh, atmosphere. You remember there were all sorts of mystery religions, there was temple prostitution, there was a lot of impurity in the ancient world. And we could say ritual impurity because that was part of the uh, worship of a god at their temple. This letter is written to the Ephesians where there was a, the, one of the greatest temples in the ancient world, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, the temple of Artemis. She's also called Diana. And uh, now we see there was a Christian basilica to honor St. John the Apostle built on top of it. So this passage is uh, speaking to us today. We live in a climate of great, um, we could say freedom, but we could properly say it is license, it is freedom gone awry, especially with the internet, with the impurity of the internet, the world of pornography, the world of sexual license and freedom gone to a rampant um, degree. So this passage begins that we must forgive one another the first duty of a Christian, of course, is to believe in God, to believe in Jesus Christ, and in the act of belief, we also are open and disposed to forgiveness that we must share, see our Father tells us. And then St. Paul says we must be imitators of God as beloved children. So to imitate God means that we are thinking of the gift of Jesus his life given for us, and to think of that not only as the act of redemption that sets us free, but also as a pattern for our own behavior, that we are to imitate Jesus in the way that he loves us, we are to love one another with a very high degree of love. As uh, St. Paul goes on, this words, the fragrant offering and sacrifice to God reminds us this is the language of temple sacrifice describing what Jesus does for us. So he goes into a whole litany of 
sexual sins, we are to avoid fornication, impurity, um, obscene, silly, vulgar talk, all of this uh, kind of whole gamut or array of sexual weakness. Uh, this is very practical language coming from a man who was, of course, at one at one and the same time both a great mystic and great man of prayer, but also a man of great practicality. He knew what was there in the world. He knew what the Christians had to deal with. So he is sympathetic to them to tell them, uh, do not fall into this morass around you. And this is so much of what the Church has to deal with today. And things we could say are probably much worse than even the ancient world. The uh, reading ends after this very direct and very hard-hitting um, few paragraphs about sexual morality, sexual talk, sexual innuendo, to say to us, live as children of light, because you were once in darkness, now you're in the light. So we ask for the light of God uh, to be with us today, uh, that we will somehow radiate this light of the gospel given to us, and as the song says, behave as beloved children, that uh, our behavior, our morality is based on the fact that we have this spiritual uh, adoption. The adoption as children of God means we are in a different kind of framework, a different mindset that we have to persevere in. We cannot say we are unaffected by the world around us. We will be affected by it. But we will have uh, a spiritual sense to ward off ideas, uh, trends, thinking in society that is undermining our Christian morality, which we hear, of course, all around us. So we ask God to give us that gift of his light, a commitment to live as children of light, which is what he desires for us. We bring before God our prayers and our needs. Father in heaven, look upon us and hear the prayers we offer. We pray for those who do not have the light of the gospel, who succumb to the ways of the world today, those addicted to pornography, to sexual license and freedom that is destructive of the human person, that they will be set free from their chains. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our young people that they will remember the call of the gospel to live with the dignity of the children of God. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the sick amongst our family, our loved ones, those in hospital, those in care facilities, and all of the special prayer intentions for the sick we have before the Lord. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our parish school and parish CCD, which is beginning this very week, for God's blessings on our efforts to share the gospel with the youth. We pray to the Lord. In a moment of quiet, we bring to the Lord in our heart our special prayers for today. We pray to the Lord. Father in heaven, look upon us in our different needs and hear these prayers we have offered today through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become
come for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Dear brothers and sisters, if my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Look, we pray, O Lord, in the offerings we make to your majesty that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity, even fashioned. For us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation, through Christ our Lord, through him the host of angels adores your majesty, rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we have made. Holy, 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 holy Lord, our You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time for us betrayed and entered willingly into his passion to pray, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, profess your resurrection, until we come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer the Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray for the partaking of the body and blood of Christ. We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, who our church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Michael our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant Renny, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died 
in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face and mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us mercy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called for the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, my soul shall be.
we will ring out our joy at your saving help and exult in the name of our God. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. May our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. To thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into thou safe and all the evil spirits, who prowl throughout the world, seeking the root of souls. We fly to thy patron, O Holy Mother of God, despise not.